nationwide, statewide, et cetera, et cetera. People want to raise the minimum wage from 10 to $15 an hour in California. This is what's been laid out as a plan, a gradual increase. There was a column, an op-ed piece in the Los Angeles Times from a business owner who stated that as the minimum wage increased, he likely could not be able to absorb the cost and would be forced to move to Las Vegas where employment uh, compensation is posted a little bit less along with workers' compensation, California being one of the least business-friendly states in the nation, especially for low-margin businesses such as production of clothing. So a lot of people bagged on him. They decried him as a bad business owner, a slave owner, a person with a bad business model, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. I don't believe this is necessarily helpful in the discussion. I think that what we need to do is understand the economic implications of such. The law of supply and demand, as you raise prices, demand decreases. The same holds true for wages. As we raise the minimum wage, we are either going to be laying off mass numbers of people, there are going to be less jobs available, we are going to hasten the advent of robotics taking over jobs, as they become cheaper, as the price of labor rises, this will hasten that advance. And the question is, what really happens? You have business owners who are in California who are trying to provide labor. As the costs rise, of course they're gonna take them just because they have to remain competitive with the people that are able to pay cheaper prices for the labor. And this again is the law of supply and demand. So as much as we'd like everybody to be earning $50 an hour, as nice as that would be as as a uh, thought experiment, it simply doesn't work that way economically. Similarly, if we raise the minimum wage nationwide, where you couldn't necessarily take it to Las Vegas, a lot of these business owners would be taking it to Cambodia. They'd be taking their garment businesses, their garment factories to Cambodia, where workers get paid $100 a month. This is osmosis of money. Osmosis is when you have a solution with a solvent. That solvent, and you have a semi-permeable membrane, that solvent will cross through the membrane to areas where the concentration of that solvent is less, equalizing it. This is the same thing where money is the solvent and the semiable permeable membrane, which used to be hard, a hard shell you couldn't get out of, is the, is the internet, the ease of transport worldwide, telecommunications that make it possible for this solvent, for money, to flow to other areas of the globe that before had no money, that were completely devoid of it, where people lived in abject poverty. You could still argue that they are, but at least now they're getting paid slightly more than they used to. These are the economic implications of raising the minimum wage, and there are byproducts of this that many people don't like, but simply will exist as pure economics. So hope that this gave you a little added insight in order to weigh each side of the equation a little bit. Rich for Rich makes you rich.com. Signing off until next time.